Hi, I'm David M. Green, host of TV's 31 Questions. Before we begin the show tonight, just a quick bit of housekeeping. Excellent. I'm David M. Green, and this is 31 Questions. show for people who haven't realized there are other game shows on other channels. <laughs> Hi, I'm David M. Green. Uh, but of course, the show, although mostly about me, isn't all about me. So before we meet tonight's contestants, allow me to introduce our delightful scorekeeper, Sophie Locker. Hi, David. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I've got my whiteboard marker ready. But I've got something I want to tell you. You do? You Is it about the whiteboard marker? No, it's totally unrelated. All right. You look scarily like my uncle. <laughs> well, I don't know how exactly to tell you this, but I am your uncle. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. And of course, the official 31 Questions moderator, Anthony McCormack, ladies and gentlemen. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm fantastic, David. How are you, more importantly? I'm good. Now that I've changed my clothes, I notice you haven't. That's, uh, that's going to be your thing. Wait a minute. Um, where's your nameplate? What are you talking about, David? Your nameplate. You, you should have one like mine. It says, except it, does, it doesn't say David M. Green. It says moderator. You haven't lost it, have you? <laughs> David! <laughs> Me lose something that expensive? No, no. <clears throat> right. Well, uh, <laughs> I'll check back on that later in the show. Anthony, who are tonight's contestants? Two out of three scientists agree that if you think of Jess, it will be enough of a happy thought to get you all the way to Neverland. Welcome, Jess. Hey, Jess, welcome to the show. Thank you. What do you actually do? Pay no attention. I am an actor. Right. You've been in anything that I would have seen? Well, you should have been watching Fergus in Hell last year on Channel 31. You know, uh, I, I'm in that as well, and I'm wearing this jacket. Let's talk about me. No, let's not. What, what did you do in that? I play Hannah, uh, and I will be appearing in season two, which starts filming sometime soon, so, yeah. Okay, I'm still waiting for my call, but uh, there's still time. <laughs> Anthony, who's the other guy? David, our second contestant tonight is Alex. <laughs> you can keep the thought of him in your head and see how far it gets you. <laughs> oh, that's it. All right. I thought there was more to that. Anthony, uh, thank you. A Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. What, what do you do with yourself? I work in hospitality. Um, I also DJ, write my own music. Cool. Generally sort of... Have you DJed about. anything that I would have heard? Hmm. Did I mention I'm also a DJ? No, you haven't no, mentioned no, that no, before. Sorry, I'm sorry. Talking about oh. The show's not about me. No, no, if, if, no. Unless you've been around to my grandma's house, you probably wouldn't have heard. Well, I'm still waiting anything. for the call. Uh, but good luck tonight. Thanks both for coming. Let's have a quick test of the buzzers. Can we test your just ladies first? There we go. That works fine. And Alex, give it, give it your best point. There you go. Both working fantastically. Okay, let's ask 31 questions. Oh, it's old. It is old. The first round this evening is the general knowledge round. I'll read a series of randomised questions about a whole kind of everything. A correct answer and you receive one point. Answer incorrect and you lose a point. And I'll give you this. Let's start the game. A picture of what animal is on all my key concession cards? No? A fish. How many acute angles are there in an equilateral triangle? Jess? Three. Correct. Hey. Yeah. There's three because, of course, all triangles have three angles. So well done. Pythagoras. What a legend. Hey. During screenings of notoriously bad cult film, The Room, what do audiences like to throw at the screen? Hmm. No? Does anyone in the audience know? Spoons. Yes. Well done. Spoons. 
Usually plastic, but uh, on occasion uh, silver. Uh, David, I'm glad that the answer is spoons because at a screening of the room that I attended, the audience threw me at the screen. <laughs> Well, that's awful. <laughs> you know, I used to work at that cinema that does that. I won't mention them. But uh, I had to clean up spoons every Sunday morning. It was very irritating. You do have a lot of jobs, Dave. I do. I was fired from that one uh, and some of the other ones. Which cartoon duo play a game called Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence? Oh. Alex? Beavis and Butthead? No. Anyone in the audience? Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence? How about the guy who wrote the question who was behind camera two? It's uh, Red and Stevie. Guys. You got it. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Nick. I was going to say that. Let's just keep going. You just said it. <laughs> what does USB stand for? Alex? Universal Serial Bus. Well done, sir. <laughs> well done. What a lousy bus. <laughs> Can't even fit in it. <laughs> It never runs on time. Never. What colour is the milk of a hippopotamus? Pink. No? Anyone? Pink. Pink. Yes. Mm. I'd, uh, I, I'd tell you why, but I'm not Stephen Fry, and also I don't know. <laughs> right, I think we have time for one more question. Complete this popular primary school saying from the 1990s. First the worst, second the best. Oh. Anyone? Yes, man? Yeah, I'll give you that. Third, third, the one with the, third the one with the hairy chest, or third the one with the treasure chest, which I'd probably prefer. Uh, we also would have accepted third the one who didn't come first or second. <laughs> all, all accurate. You, you didn't have that in your primary school? No, no. I don't recall much right. from primary school. I blocked it out, bad memories. Mm. <laughs> all right, I won't delve further. That's enough of that. It's time for Word on the Street, where we went straight to the horse's mouth, which was a complete waste of time because livestock can't talk. But don't worry, because after that we went to some actual people to get their views, their actual views, on the big actual issues. So we'll, we, we, what we will do is show our contestants a short clip of some strangers talking about something. Contestants simply need to tell me what they are talking about. Guess right, I'll give you five points. There's no penalty if you guessed wrong. Remember, don't buzz until the clip is finished. What are these people talking about? Made of plastic. Flat metal plastic handle with then metal rest of the body. <laughs> yeah, I probably do have one. It's a cooking implement to make cakes. Under five dollars, a couple of bucks. Removing the very last vestiges of things from bowls. Jess? Spatula! Oh, let's take a look. What's the answer? Spatula. <laughs> Alright, five points to you, well done. That was so good, let's do it again. Hip. They're annoying people and um... Free spirited. Generally quite poor people. Young. They party too hard. Uh, I'm not one now, but I was one back in the mid 90s. Jess. Uni student? Is it uni student? Uni student. It was either that or hipster, so I went with the more obvious It's okay, we're hipster friendly, it's most of our audience. Not you, not you people, you're fine. <laughs> but you, you're fine, don't worry about it. I think we have one more, I think we have one more. We got one more, we may as well use it. What are these people talking about? They're very nice. Sometimes uncomfortable. Different range of sizes and uh... Something that many women need. Every woman has to wear one. Um, otherwise you could have some awkward moments. Well, you don't have to, but... Supportive? Support female organs. Alex? Wouldn't be a bra, would it? Would it be a br What is it? Bras. <laughs> All right. I hope that guy's been turned into the relevant authorities. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, is Thank that a you, topic sir. you... Um, Oh, it's a no. subject that is very dear to my heart. Right. <laughs> Me too. Um, 
We're going to take a break, but before we do, let's check the scores with Sophie. Well, David, it looks as though Alex is trailing behind on five. And if you consult the whiteboard, Jess not only is on 11, but has a Pythagoras theorem. <laughs> That's great. Look at that. <laughs> it's 31 questions. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to 31 Questions, the game show all the cool kids are ignoring. <laughs> I'm David M. Green. Let's have a quick reminder of the scores. We have Jess on 11 and Alex just behind on 5. Plenty of time left. Plenty more show left. Anthony McCormack is our uh, 31 Questions show moderator. How are you going on locating your nameplate? Uh, I, uh, I'm getting closer. I, I will find it before the show is finished. But until then, David, I have MacGyvered a little bit of a solution. Uh, a little temporary fix, if you will. So, there, there need be no... <laughs> no panic. That better not be coming out of the catering budget. <laughs> I assure you it is. Right now, it's time for When Is It? The segment that makes learning history somewhat bearable. I'll go through some events that occurred in a specific year from Earth's history. The first contestant to correctly guess the year gets some points. It gets easier as I go on. And by the end, it's pretty damn obvious. So if you get in early, you get more points. Guess wrong, you're out. All the clues go to the other guy or girl. Here we go. When is it? Justin Bieber wasn't born yet. <laughs> Good year. Elvis Presley releases his self-titled album, the first of countless records that would reach gold status. Actress Marilyn Monroe marries playwright Arthur Miller, famous for The Cubicle. I, uh, I believe we actually have some footage of The Cubicle here. <laughs> Fantastic play, very moving. Television begins broadcasting in Australia just in time for the Melbourne Olympics. Oh, Jess. 1956. Correct. <laughs> Four points. There you go. I hit it five times. If you don't like it, complain on the internet. <laughs> All right, let's have another. If this year did not exist, this year would not exist. But before we progress, I want to get one thing straight. This year most certainly did exist. Hosni Mubarak, the president of Egypt, appoints a new government in response to accusations of corruption in recent parliamentary elections. The Nintendo 64 video game console was released in Japan. Sri Lanka wins the Cricket World Cup, defeating tournament favourites Australia in the final. Really? All right. John Howard is sworn in as the new Prime Minister of Australia. Oh. Liberals all around the nation wet their pants. Jess? Uh, I'm going to guess. 98? Uh, no. Ah! Alex, you got... have a free hit. Hmm... 97? No! Yeah. Both uh, greenies, I'm guessing? Mm. Yeah, that's alright, I am. <laughs> hey, look at the audience, there's liberals all over the place. What's the answer? 1996. You got it, sir. Ah, oh, come on. Close! Close! Do you, do you remember much of 1996? Mm. Buffy. Clearly not. <laughs> one more. Now, do you want the ridiculously hard one or the hard one? Ridiculous? Ridiculous. We'll give the ridiculously Let's hard one. Let's go ridiculous. One. Have the ridiculously hard one. Everyone born in this year is now dead. <laughs> that narrows it down. The Bishop of Mecklenburg was sacrificed to a pagan deity in a rebellion against Christianity by German natives. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Halley's Comet was sighted and declared evil by monk Elamere of Malmesbury. Buzz in any time. <laughs> oh, the I last, the oh, last to live in any age, David. <laughs> <laughs> the last Viking invasion of England was launched by Harold, Harold Larder. Larder. King Harold of England copped an eye in the... Uh, sorry, an arrow in the eye at the Battle of Hastings. Oh. Uh, Alex? 1066. Correct! <laughs> Battle of Hastings, a.k.a. the Battle of 1066. <laughs> knowing me, knowing you. Here, I'll ask each contestant one at a time three questions. 
the questions are tailored to them personally, testing how well they know themselves. Now, as Jess is leading, I'm going to start with you. Bring it. All right. I like your attitude. <laughs> Let's see how well you know yourself. Uh, one point for a correct answer. One deducted if you're wrong. Here we go. How many vowels in your first name? Three. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I didn't even pause, I just thought I'd ask. Wait a minute, is your full, is your full name Jess or Jessica? Ica. E. I. And A. a. Oh, I'm going to allow that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that I thought I was right because you know I could have been wrong, but hey. No, Wait. well done. I'm sorry Dave, I have, I have to interrupt. I'm going to allow that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. 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 Thanks, Mobler, right? Appreciate it. <laughs> Jess, in your local council area, which night is bin night? Wednesdays. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I'll take your word for it. What colour shirt are you wearing in your driver's licence photo? Blue. Can you prove that? Blue. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's blue. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, blue. You did pretty well. Yeah. Actually, you got all of them right. Yeah. Well, let's see how Alex can do. Mm. How well do you know yourself? We'll see. Are you a smoker? Yes? I am right, I am. All right. Are you trying to quit? No. No? All right. What is your blood type? Hmm. AB negative. It's pretty rare, isn't it? Interesting. Are you an organ donor? No. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along to May the Quote Be With You, where Sophie, Anthony and I will be quoting a few scenes from well-known motion pictures. All you've, got to do is to, all you've got to do to get five points is tell me the name of the film. No penalty if you guess wrong. Let's begin tonight with Sophie. Hard? How hard do you think it was for me to get you to dance with me in the first place? Ooh. Jess. Dancing? What? Dirty dancing? No. no. I don't believe so. Uh, no idea. Anyone? No. Actually, how about you keep going? Fran, your panty della squeegee mop. Wash the coffee cups, Fran. How's your skin, Fran? Hard. I can't buzz. I'm buzzing. No, you had your chance. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in the audience know? Damn. It is a dancing movie. What is it, Sophie? It's Strictly Ballroom. It's a Strictly classic. Strictly Ballroom. Uh, which I haven't seen oh. and won't. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, Anthony. <clears throat> the people of Santa Poco can conquer their own personal El Guapo, who also happens to be the actual El Guapo. <laughs> no? No. Uh, anyone in the audience? It's a classic, Martin Short, Chevy Chase. Someone else? Three no. Do you, Reese, what is it? It's Three Amigos. Yes, it is. Well done. Three well Amigos. <laughs> Who said Three Musketeers? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll give you one now. It's a topsy turvy world, Jane, and maybe the problems of two people don't amount to a hill of beans, but this is our hill, and these are our beans. Jane, since I've met you, I've noticed things I never knew were there before. Birds singing. Dew glistening on a newly formed leaf. Stoplights. I can't remember, <laughs> but I've heard it. Anyone? No? The Naked Gun? Oh. Come on! Oh. You know, the, uh, it's when he's proposing to, you know, Priscilla Presley. That's a classic. Hey, now it's time for a group scene. 31 questions cast. Ahoy! 4,000 restaurants in the downtown area. I picked the one my father goes to. We're pinched for sure. No way, Cameron. When the meat get pinched, the bold survive. Let's go. Let's surrender. Never. No? Oh, Alex? Fer Ferris Bueller's day off? I think he's correct. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's music copyright. Can't do that. <laughs> hey, this is 31 questions. 
Uh, stay with us for the final round and the giving away of tonight's fabulous prize up next. <laughs> Welcome back to 31 Questions, the game show where you get to be the viewer. <laughs> I'm David M. Green. In addition to being the face of the show, as you may have noticed, uh, I'm actually one of the three producers, along with the fabulous Simon Eastwood and Rihanna, I can't pronounce your last name, uh, who both do fantastic jobs. However, originally, we actually had a fourth producer, but he was actually arrested last year on a flight from Sydney to Melbourne. Can you believe that? So he's no longer with us. David, I am shocked. Why, what, what did the producer do on the plane to, to be arrested? He shot a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dean. So let's play 31 questions. Hmm. Thank you. You're too kind, You're, really. Going into the final round of the show, what are the scores, Sophie Lochran? David, I'm not going to lie. That Put those last, glasses away. That last joke was lame. <laughs> Jess is on 20 and Alex is half her score on 10. How's my Ooh. maths? Woo. Yeah, nice work. Anthony, mm. your penultimate review of tonight's proceedings. Unfortunately, David, I have been looking through the show rules and apparently Pythagoras' theorem is not allowed. So I'm going to have to take five points off of Jess, unfortunately, and I am going to have to give those five points to Alex. Unfortunately, Ooh. this Ooh. completely ties our scores and makes the game more exciting, but I'm just <laughs> going to have to live with that. Okay, well, thanks for that. Mobile. <laughs> Super hyperspace lightning round time. 62 seconds of rapid fire questions, one point for a correct answer, one point off if you're wrong. Whoever has the largest amount of points at the end of this round is tonight's champion. So as the midget said to the butcher, the stakes are very high. <laughs> <laughs> Darren? He should try the small goods. Yeah, thank <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Anthony. Can we have the clock, please? Oh, look at that. That's great. All right, we all good? Good to go. Your time starts now. Which city is the hometown for the band Philadelphia Grand Jury? All right, Sydney. I didn't know that either. Which internal organ does a nephrologist study? No? Uh, the kidney. And Alex, you might want to read up on that as well. Uh, true or false, the word gullible has been removed from the dictionary. Jess? False. That is correct. Don't be ridiculous. What is the national leaf of Canada? Alex? The maple leaf. Correct. A typical woman has how many Y chromosomes? Alex? 32? <laughs> Dear God, no. <laughs> Zero. That's Maybe I'm thinking lost. of something else. Who played bass for the Beatles? Um, no, Paul McCartney. The phrase engraved dim is an acronym for the name of what somewhat popular Channel 31 game show host? Jess? Uh, David M. Green? <laughs> yes. Well done, just got in there. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Well, that was, that was a roller coaster ride of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, uh, while Sophie's tallying up the uh, final calculations, what did you think of tonight's contestants? They, uh, they played a good game. Uh, Jess obviously knew what she was doing with that forearm. And uh, at the end, when uh, Alex hit that six, I mean, it was anyone's game. Well, <laughs> who was tonight's winner, Sophie? Our winner tonight in the red corner is Jess on 17. Alex just down by two on 15. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done, Jess. Thank you. Well done. Gracious in, in defeat, Alex. As uh, always. Did you have fun? Indeed. That's what it's all about. Of course. Great. That's the point Great. of the whole exercise. Tell it? your friends, please. Please tell your friends. Uh, you're not going away empty handed. Uh, we're going to cut off your hands. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Uh, that doctor, he's going away. <laughs> Thank you. But Jess, Anthony, tell her what she's won. Perfect for keeping all of your precious fluids in. Here is a David M. Green mug. Save them up. Week after week until you get to the top of the mug. 
then throw all your precious fluids out and start all over again. <laughs> David? Thank you. Yeah. Great, so there you go, you can... Uh... Well, there you go. <laughs> Please thank tonight's contestants. And well thank you, thank you as always to Anthony and Sophie. I love your work. Thank you for watching. We're on Facebook and Twitter as well, so you can follow us there. I'm David M. Green, but until next week, always remember that winners don't take drugs. They merely traffic them. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> True words have never been spoken.